Hello everyone, this is Osamu Wakabayashi from Zen Ideas. I'm all about helping non-profit organization. And then today I uh, we've been developing a kind of membership website uh, for my client. So this is a non-profit organization. Yeah, of course, uh, this uh, website is developed with WordPress platform and they're installing uh, the Fluent CRM and the MemberPress. So uh, we integrated those two uh, plugins. And of course, uh, um, I'm using uh, Croc Block Jet Engine. Uh, to make more dynamic and then keep members um, uh, listing page organized. But uh, today, uh, you know, my focus is talking about those two Fluent CRM and MemberPress. So this is the kind of workflow that um, my client had in the past. So they use JotForm platform for the members intake form. And then after reviewing the organization or members uh, profile, um, so they use members registration form using JotForm. And then uh, they manually um, import the information to it's called Nation Builder CRM. And then manually uh, they are billing or invoicing. Okay, so there's lots of different steps and they're using different uh, technology or platform. Okay, so that's the kind of problem. So let me just uh, take a look at um, um So this is the Nation Builder. So it looks like um, uh, just CRM platform. And then uh, if you look at it, uh, the price uh, again, so if you have zero to 500 contact, 160 bucks a month, uh, but if you increase that, uh, the price is gonna uh, also increase. Uh, it's based on the number of contact. And then, you know, they have a custom field, um, you know, membership management. Um, so they have all the stuff here, but uh, the price is um, you have to pay at least $160 per month, all right? Now the job form um, is, um, again, depends if you are using only five forms, uh, it's free, but if you up to, you know, 25 forms, uh, 34. So I'm assuming uh, uh, my clients are using $34 per month, which is not a lot. But uh, so let's take a look at uh, Fluent CRM. Now, so I'm gonna quickly show that to you what this is and what you can do is uh, only $90 per year, not per month. Okay, so that's one license. And the member press is, uh, I'm using $180 per year. Okay, so this is the license. Okay, but as you can see, you know, how much money you can save uh, by using this. So let's say if you get, uh, you know, only 500 to conduct. Okay, so $160 per month. And if you multiply by 12, and you would be paying, uh, you know, close to $2,000 a year. Okay, so that's a huge price difference right here. Now, so let me just uh, show you what you can do with Fluent CRM and then um, Member Press. Okay, so as as I explained before, so they have um, so you know this type of workflow. All right, so the intake form, and they have to manually kind of review that, make sure that the organization is uh, meeting um, its criteria, it's qualified or not, and then send the registration so that they can pay process. But they have to do manually, and they're using different CRM system for that and then billing manually. So, but with a Fluent CRM, uh, you can automate those steps, okay? Uh, let me just quickly show you the existing workflow here. So this is the website they have. And as you can see, they have different tiers or levels of membership, okay? So based on their revenue, the fee is gonna be, uh, fee is gonna change like that, right? And if you click this become a member, it opens up the, uh, so they have to fill out uh, this, form okay and as you can see they're using job form so it's just regular you know text field and the checkbox right and they have to kind of go to next so once uh, my client review this and then if they get approved i think they are sending they are emailing manually to let them know and then they have to go to this form okay right here for the payment so now just copy this and then uh, paste that. So this is the member registration. So they have to do the uh, you know payment process like that. Okay. So they are you know like they have to pick which one. Okay. And then so they can use a debit or PayPal. Okay. So this is okay. Like they can process online. But um, if they wanted to continue, this is the annual membership. So uh, they have to build them annually and manually. So there is no subscription platform for this. So uh, that's kind of a problem. 
This is the, the new membership registration form that I built with Fluent Form. As you can see, this is just a pre-application form, uh, same as the last or existing um, uh, workflow. So they have to fill out the form here at a name and email address. Uh, let me just uh, pause my video and then fill this out quickly. Okay, so first name, uh, Dave and last name Wilson, and here's email address and the organization name. Uh, this is charity organization, uh, that's a yes or no question. And then this is bilingual. Uh, organization. So this is going to capture, now uh, this information is going to go to uh, Fluent CRM. I'll show you that in a minute. And this is demographic. So I also put the tag. So, you know, there's no reason uh, for my clients to manually import a client data. Okay. Uh, and the same as those information too. So let's go ahead and submit the form. All right. Now, so let's go to um, backend of Fluent CRM. So this is admin. So let's refresh uh, this page here. So refresh here. All right, so now as you can see, uh, Dave um, Wilson is here, and then the tag is automatically uh, put the youth tag here, right? So let's just uh, take a look inside. So as I showed it to you, so auto organization name and mission statement, and then bilingual, also this information is already added, okay? Uh, so there's no reason for them to import. Now I want to highlight here. So now listing or list is now it says reviewing. So this means that the admin uh, for uh, for this organization uh, has to review this application. Okay, so that's why I put the uh, list for reviewing. And then so go to for submission here. And then uh, so remember that. So Dave Wilson just submitted this pre-application form. So let's take a look and review this. So leave it that. So let's assume this is all good information. This organization is qualified to become a member. Now, what they have to do is, so they have to, uh, you know, trigger this. So let's go back to Dave. Yeah. So what I did for them is, so they go to this plus button and then now, so this uh, organization is now qualified. So just to check that quali qualified applicant, right? And then hit the confirm. And what happened is automatically remove the review, reviewing a list from the list. Okay. So just now uh, this list, I'll say kind of status, but uh, I'll use a list here, qualified applicant. Okay. Now let's look at uh, email here. Now I got the new email. So so this is uh, to Dave, the applicant here, right? So it's get the automated email. Now this, uh, you can customize that, uh, this email template. So basically you said you're qualified, congratulations, and go to this registration page. Again, so this can be automated too. And then if you click this, and it takes you to a uh, member option page. So let's say, um, you know, I'm uh, buying this membership, click that. Now this takes you to the registration form, all right? And then, so I'm gonna just use uh, offline payment for this demo and then go sign up. Oops, okay, I have to fill that up. All right, and then sign up. Okay, so it's done. Now let's go to Atomy here. So let's uh, refresh this. So it is still qualified applicant. All right. Uh, because of this uh, offline payments, uh, so add me here. So you have to go to a uh, member press and go to a uh, uh, transaction here. And then the, so this is the one that will saw. So we have to manual process. So, so let's assume you receive a check or cash uh, for this because it's offline. And then, so you got to change that to a complete and hit save. All right. And now let's go to um, the email again. So this is the email. Uh, let's refresh this page. Oh, here we go. It's already processed. So now, uh, of course, the, the receipt has been um, issued right here. Now let's go to, um, so let's go to uh, our plan CRM, go back to contact. And let's go to um, Dave. Now, as you see, now it's changed the members because after um, we finished the process and payment.
Yeah, so as I demonstrated, so there's no more like manual process and you can use only one platform to manage or streamline this membership intake process. So let me quickly explain. So let me show you how I create uh, this workflow. So the first one is pre-application pre form here. Okay, so let's go to settings. So this is just a message, you can customize that. So I'll just go to uh, integration here. So integrated with CRM, uh, Fluent CRM. Let's go here, edit. All right, so now list got changed to reviewing, right? So as soon as this form got submitted, and then, uh, so this is just mapping uh, uh, the field, uh, organization name, the language, you know, English, French, bilingual, as you, um, as I demonstrated here. All right, so those are just mapping. Okay, and then the checklist, the program they are offering, and then the demographics. So you can set up this dynamic tag selection. Okay, so if in my case, I think uh, because uh, when I chose youth, the equality goes to youth. Okay, so this is just a um, demographic. Uh, so you can map that as well and put the specific tag. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think that's uh, that's it. So basically, uh, once they submit this form, uh, they go to reviewing list. Okay. Now let's go to automation here. Go to CRM and automation. And then so this one and the quali qualified applicant. So this is a trigger here. So this one is, um, if you remember, when I checked qualified applicant uh, checkbox to, uh, for the list, and and then, so this is a trigger. Okay, so as soon as I checked uh, qualified applicant, and then so that uh, reviewing um, the list is going to be removed. Okay, and then send send out to uh, applicant uh, this email. Okay, so this uh, link to uh, the registration page, right? So that's it. And then that the third automation uh, is membership or member enrollment. So this is a uh, member, uh, member press uh, integration here. So once they paid and they enrolled in a member with a member press, and here is some action. So this is a trigger. And then let's just automatically apply to member, as you see that. And then uh, remove, of course, remove no more qualified applicant, right? So it's going to remove that from the list. And then change the user role. Uh, I don't really explain that. So, I, you know, I create a different user role and then member user role. Okay, so apply to. So you can do that. So this is um, a part of Fluent CRM. So this is the part of action uh, you can include. And then uh, this is going to be the end of funnel here. Okay. Yeah. As I was actually looking at this, you know, you can add right here and you can email, uh, send a custom email to, you know, welcome to uh, so and so members and then, uh, you know, go to this account page. Uh, you can do some welcome, send a welcome email here as well. All right. I hope this helps. Um, I really believe that, especially a nonprofit organization, should use this type of uh, platform because it's easy to manage. And not only just easy to manage, but also um, they should be able to save money significant, significantly. So uh, I hope uh, this helped and I'll see you next time.